hello everyone welcome back to our channel today I'm gonna do a video about how to update the firmware of your Fitbit Versa so Fitbit has recently introduced and the blog or the Fitbit website says that it is available to 100% of the users now so now that is effective today you would be able to update your Fitbit Versa and I'm gonna show you uh, step by step exactly how to update your Fitbit Versa you can't go wrong if you follow this step so let's get started if you guys are new to our channel make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, we do a lot of videos about cooking and Fitbit Versa and other technical technological reviews so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we have a whole playlist for Fitbit Versa so if you click here you'll be taken on to the Fitbit Versa playlist where we have 28 plus videos and more to come and I am sure you'll learn a lot out of this and maybe you'll love it so make sure you subscribe to our channel and let's get started I'm gonna jump on to my uh, phone and I'm Gonna show it to you in real time what to do uh, before we start I'll just go to the fitbit.com their uh, website and we'll just quickly do an overview of what's new on uh, the OS 3.0 um, so uh, you can I have linked this uh, in the description down below you can go through the article but what has changed is this you can uh, now keep your clock turned on for up to 60 seconds and that's awesome the stopwatch now says uh, open on your screen while in use that's another awesome thing notification now automatically wakes your device and that's awesome um, they have fixed also some bugs and you can customize the Fitbit today um, and we'll, we'll talk about this later so let's get started with the uh, actual update process and I'll see you on the phone so here I am guys on my phone uh, and we'll get started with the update process for Fitbit Versa uh, so the first thing you want to make sure is that the Fitbit app on your Android device is updated now uh, again this is a video for Android users I have no idea how it works on the iOS but I'm pretty sure it will be just about the same so the step number one would be update the Fitbit app mine is updated already if it is not usually on Android device uh, if any uh, an update for an app is available it prompts uh, by itself sometimes if it doesn't then you go into the Google Play uh, search for that particular app and it should come up on over here um, and then you can update once it's update the step number one is done uh, step number two is to make sure that your uh, watch is connected to the Wi-Fi if you can see it is connected to my uh, internet um, right here so my phone and my watch they both are connected to the same internet that is very important guys because uh, it will speed up the update process and you want to also make sure that uh, the Versa is connected via Bluetooth so if you can see right here it's a, a green dot over there which may which which shows that uh, the watch is connected to the Bluetooth so that's step number two you want to make sure that the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi uh, for the watch is connected and make sure that the watch is also in close proximity to your phone now the step number three is another important step you know make sure that your uh, versa is at least charge more than 50% because if it is not and if sometimes it takes time you don't want to interrupt the process or sometimes it won't even start so make sure that your battery of the Fitbit Versa is charged more than 50% and then the final step is update so uh, if um, not if now pretty much uh, their, their website says that it's available to 100% of the user so you should see this download button right here it's in pink uh, if not in the front uh, in the in the start of this app you click this button right here and you can see um, the update thing over there so you click that and hopefully the process should start so I'm gonna do it in real time and we'll see what happens my battery is full I followed all the previous step and now I'm gonna hit the update update tracker software uh, it says a few things to know before updating your Fitbit Versa 
so these are the new uh, features for the newer update which we have already talked and if you want to find out in depth i have linked it uh, i have linked their websites link in the description down below check that out i'm gonna hit next and we'll see uh, what happens so it says updating your fitbit versa this can take a while make sure you keep your versa charging and near your phone to complete the steps uh, i am currently looking at my watch and nothing is coming up uh, and there you go now on my watch i can see um, i'm gonna put a screenshot right here over here for that um, i just see the screen uh, with fitbit logo over there so i'm gonna pause the video uh, just to save time until the process is done and i'm gonna show it to you so here we are guys we are almost up to about 75 percent only 25 percent is left and to my surprise this is a quite of a long process i i bet if you guys are trying to update on the go please don't do it make sure you at least have about two hours uh, to get your watch updated because I started this process around 220 ish and it's almost been an hour and it's just 75% done so I am suspecting that this update is probably happening via Bluetooth rather than internet uh, otherwise I would I would be hopeful that it would be a bit faster but it's taking quite a long time and uh, I'm still hoping it gets done fast but I'm, I'm, I'm like maybe it's gonna take another 20 minutes or so so I'm gonna pause this video again and I'm, I'll be I'll be back at the end to show you once the update is done so here we are uh, the update is almost done um, on the Fitbit now I see the Fitbit logo and I'm assuming it's restarting so uh, it took almost about uh, an hour more than an hour i would say to be precise an hour and 20 minutes for me uh, and i am pretty sure the update uh, went through bluetooth rather than the wi-fi so um uh, one little tip right here for you guys would be um, make sure you are kind of near to your router i am in a room quite a bit far away from the router so maybe the wi-fi kind of gave out and uh, the update went through bluetooth and that's that's why it took so long um, so for you guys uh, if you if you are close to your wi-fi router it's gonna be a bit faster so uh, i'm gonna pause the video and see uh, while the update gets installed and i'm gonna keep you posted what happens next so here I am guys on uh, I'm on my watch I switched the camera over from my phone to my watch because what happened was uh, the screen over here turned green and the update completed and uh, this this uh, after the green screen this kind of restarted and uh, it took a while uh, but once it's restarted uh, it came back to the watch face itself uh, now i'm gonna go in the settings um, to show you guys that the update was successful now this has changed uh, over here initially it was just 20 seconds but now i can actually get uh, up to 60 seconds uh, all right just give me a second yeah so 60 seconds that's the maximum time i'm gonna keep it to 15 seconds to save battery but it seems like a lot has changed uh if we go in the about uh and here is the new version the new version now it says uh 32.33.1.30 uh the version before that was 32.32.10.15 so finally we have the version 3.0 of the fitbit os now so i am really excited um let me know how the process goes for you guys and um, how long it took it really took quite a while for me because mine went through bluetooth uh, I wished it went through Wi-Fi because it's it's gonna be a bit quicker through Wi-Fi so uh, really the takeaway message from this video would be make sure you're close to your Wi-Fi router so you get uh, pretty fast installation and saves time 
but uh, make sure your Bluetooth is connected, the battery is more than 50% and you're close to your Wi-Fi router and your Wi-Fi is connected. Things should go quite smoothly after that and you will be able to enjoy the new uh, Fitbit 3.0 OS uh, on your watch. Now I'm going to do another video later on uh, about what's new uh, and what, uh, what new features and bugs they have fixed with this uh, new OS. So. Uh, do me a thumbs up over here if you like this video make sure you subscribe to our channel and uh, hit the bell notification I icon so that you stay tuned with our videos and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video take care